Pinasang, Konnichiwa, Jamu Des, and welcome to Hikari Online Class. For today's lesson, ay pag-aaralan natin ang lesson 24 ng ating grammar discussion. Are you ready? Dewa Hajime Masho. Okay, so our first topic here is Kurimas. Okay, so you learn that Agimas means give in the lesson 7. So this verb can be used when somebody else gives something to the speaker or to the speaker's family or etc. Okay? So you learn in the lesson 7 na ginagamit natin si agimas when someone is giving to the other. Okay? But agimas cannot be used when may nagbibigay sa speaker or sa family niya or sa mga malalapit sa kanya. So instead of using Agimas, we will gonna use koremas. Okay? Just like the example here. Sato-san wa watashi ni Christmas card wo agemashita. Okay? So that is wrong because ikaw yung binigyan. Okay? So the speaker received the action. So, so in this case, koremas is used. Okay? So instead of agemashita, we will gonna use korimas. So the sentence should be Sato-san wa watashi ni Christmas card wo korimashita. Okay? Another Watashi wa Sato-san ni hana wo agimashita. I gave Mr. Sato a flower. Pwede yun. Kasi ikaw yung nagbigay. While ko sasabihin mo Sato sa wa watashi ni Christmas card wo kurimashita. Mr. Sato gave me a Christmas card. Okay? Pag ikaw yung nakatanggap, so gagamitin mo si kurimashita. Okay? Another. Sato sa wa emoto ni okashi wo kurimashita. Mr. Sato gave my little sister a sweets. Okay? So, hindi lang ikaw, but also with your family. If someone gave you, your family, or someone is close to you, so pwede mong gamitin si kurimashita. Okay? Or kurimas, or kurimashita. Okay? Just remember na hindi mo pwede gamitin si agimas when you stating that someone gave you, your family, or your close friends something. Okay? Okay, next sentence pattern is the verb te form agemas, moraimas, and kurimas. Okay, agemas, moraimas, and kurimas are also used to refer to the giving and receiving of actions as well as those of things. Okay, so pwede mo din gamitin si agemas, moraimas, kurimas, not just for things but also for actions na binigay sa iyo or na ginawa para sa okay? They indicate who is doing the act for whom while also expressing a sense of goodwill or gratitude. Okay? Pag ginagamit mo itong sentence na to is sinasabi mo na ginawa ito ng isang tao para kay someone. And then, you also expressing na nagpapasalamat ka or your sense of goodwill. Okay? So, in this case, the act is expressed by the te form. Okay? Kung ano yung ginawa para sa sayo or for someone, so the te form is used. Okay? Just like the examples. Here's the verb te form agimas. Verb te form in the agimas indicates that one does something for somebody with a sense of goodwill. So, ito yung ginagamit mo, verb te agimas expressing na tinulungan mo ang isang tao or tinulungan ni someone si somebody. Okay? Just like an example here. I lent Mr. Kimura a book. Pinahiram ko ng libro si Mr. Kimura. Okay? Watashi wa Kimura-san ni hon o kashite agemashita. Okay? Kung ano yung favor na ginawa mo sa kanya which is pinahiram mo siya that is kashimash. So, ginawa na siya te form. That means kashte. Then, add agemashita. Okay? So, that makes the sentence as watashi wa kimura-san ni hon o kashte agemashita. 
pinahirap ko si Mr. Kimura ng libro. Okay? So, when the speaker is the actor and the listener is the receiver of the act, this expression could give the impression that the speaker is being patronizing. Okay? So, since ikaw yung nag act dito or giving the favor in the listener is the receiver, so it give na impression na nagpa-patronize ka sa ginawa mo. So, you are therefore advised to avoid using expression directly to someone who do you know, who do you not know very well or who is superior to you. So, dapat mong iwasan na gamitin siya sa superior sa iyo o sa mga tao hindi mo pag-aano kilala. Because they might give a wrong impression if you say this. Okay? So, you may use it to someone with whom you have very close or friendly relationship or family. Okay? So, when you are offering assistance who is not very close, verb mas form or masyoka is used. Okay? So, since hindi mo pwedeng gamitin si verb te agimas when you are um, saying to offer someone or sense of goodwill na tumutulong ka sa kapwa mo. So, verb mas or masyoka is Therefore, use instead sa mga taong hindi mo ka-close, hindi ko mo gano'ng kakilala, or sa mga superior mo. Just like the example, so instead of using the verb te agemas, you can just say, Takshi wo, yubi masyo ka, or tetsudai masyo ka. Okay? So, it more polite and formal also. Okay? Another here is verb te formurai mas. The expression conveys a sense of gratitude on the part of those who receive a favor. So, ito naman yung gagamitin mong pattern kung nagpapasalamat kasi na ginawa niya para sa'yo. Or when someone saying nagpapasalamat para sa ginawa, para sa kanya. Okay? Example, Watashi wa yamada sang ni toishouka no denwa mango o shete moraimashita. I asked Mr. Yamada to give me the telephone number of the library. So, yung natanggap niya, favorite dito is binigyan siya ng telephone number ni Mr. Yamada. So, that one, then mabango, o siete moray mashta. Here's another example. Mr. Miller, did you make all the food in a party yesterday? Mirasa, kinono pa tinoriyori wa zenbo jibunde tsukuremashita ka? And he said, Iye, one sang ni tetsudate moraimashita. No, I had Mr. Wang help me. Okay, hindi, tinulungan ako ni Mr. Wang. Tetsudate moraimashita. Ganun lang po gagamitin si verb te moraimashita when expressing someone's or yours, expressing your gratitude to someone na ginawa niya para sa'yo. Okay, another is verb te form kurimas. Okay, so like verb te form moraimas, this expression also conveys a sense of gratitude on the part of those who receive a favor. So pag rehalam po sila ng function or ng meaning ni verb te moraimas. But the difference is that verb te moraimas has the receiver of the act as the subject of the sentence. So, yung receiver natin sa verte moraimas is siya yung subject ng ating sentence. While the verte kurimas has the actor as the subject of the sentence. Sa kurimas naman, siya naman yung actor na subject ng sentence natin that implying the actor voluntarily takes the action. So, simply saying na pag ginagamit mo si verte kurimas is ginagawa niya without even you asking it. Okay? So, ginagawa niya kusang loob niyang tinutulong or tumutulong sa'yo. Okay? Or kusang loob niyang ginagawa ang verb para sa'yo. So, that's why you use verb te kurimas. Okay? The receiver of the act in the latter case is often the speaker and watashi ni is often omitted. Okay? So, Mostly, pag ginagamit na si verb te kurimas, watashi ni is omitted. Just like we'll hear, Did you go by train? Densha de ikimashita ka? 
ヤマダさんがクルマでおくってくれましたのミスターヤマダさんがクルマでおくってくれましたオッケーそうしんらんしゃんなんフォーフでもらいますなのにしもうよアクションバッスキーケンシーヤマダさんが okay? So, siya na yung subject ng ating sentence dito. Siya yun yung actor. Watashi ni is omitted na din. Okay? And, as you can see, ukute kurimashita means ginagawa niyang pusang loob yung verb. Okay? So, ganun lang gamitin. Or that is the difference between verb te moremas and verb te kurimas. Okay? So, let's go to the next sentence pattern. The noun person ba? Verb. So, take na nektai desu ne. E. Sato san ga koremashita. So, you present the topic saying, take na nektai desu ne. Responding to it, your partner in conversation give you a piece on information on the topic which is unknown to you. Kono nektai wa sato san ga koremashita. So, the subject of the sentence giving you information is indicated by ga. Okay? Katulad na example natin dito is sinasabi mo, maganda yung necktie mo. Hey, bigay sa akin to ni Mr. Sato. Okay? So just saying that kung sino yung subject na which is maybe unknown to the listener, so imamark mo siya as particle ga, which is Sato sa ga kore masita. Okay? Another example is Uishi wine desu ne. E, Sato san ga kurimashita. France no wine desu. Okay? Oh, it's delicious. Sabi niya, oo, bigay to sa akin ni Mr. Tanaka na galing France or made in France no wine. Okay? Now, so when who's the answering or giving some new information to the listener about something. Okay? So another is interrogative ga verb. You learn that when the subject is question, it is indicated by ga in arimas and imas sentences in lesson ten, and adjective sentences in lesson twelve. This is also the case for the verb sentences. So meron din naman sa verb sentences just like the example here. Dare ga tetsudai ni ikimasu ka? Sino yung pupunta? Para tulungan ka. And he answered, Karina sangga ikimas. Si Karina yung pupunta para tulungan siya. Si si Karina yung pupunta. Karina sangga ikimas. So as you can see, ginawa natin yung interrogative ga, dare ga, and then verb ikimas. With just the same with the answer, kung sino yung sagot, and then ga verb. Okay? And that's the end for our lesson 24. So I hope you learn another new sentence pattern, new vocabulary in this lesson. See you again next time and don't forget to subscribe. Goodbye.